seems like things just keep getting worse and worse and worse for woke SJW Disney when it comes to the financial aspect of their company. So not only have they just had flop after flop after flop at the box office, not only have they had ever declining uh, attendance records at their parks, not only have they just been having problems left and right internally, well, it seems that their stock has hit a 52 week all time low. It has it's ha so far been having the lowest close of 2023 so far. Yeah, you go woke, you go broke. Not just a vain empty phrase, it's the blunt reality. The uh, the, the uh, woke SAW crowd doesn't want to accept. This is on uh, Barron's, uh, basically on MSN.com. says, Disney stock hits lowest close of 2023. Not shocking really to anybody other than just the, the people living in a delusion who think that, well, it's, it's gonna get better at some point. Yeah, as they keep trying the same thing over and over again and flopping over and over again and just hoping it may just get better at some point. <laughs> yeah. It says in the article, Walt Disney stock on Monday closed at its lowest level yet in 2023, nearing a 52-week low as the entertainment company's recent slide continued. Walt Disney stock, tick, uh, the uh, ticker DIS, ended Monday 3.5% lower to 50, sorry, $85. Point, sorry, $85.56 while the S&P 500 index was uh, sorry, ended with a 0.4% gain. Disney was the second worst performer in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which uh, was up 0.2%. Uh, uh, only Verizon Communications stock was down 7.5% uh, and had fallen more. Disney stock is up just 1.7% from a 52-week closing low of $84.17. Wow. Uh, uh, set on December 28th. If Disney stock ends below uh, $83.83, it would mark the lowest close since 2014. Not good for them at all. This is in the article. Uh, shares have struggled in recent months as investors are worried about the volatile media landscape, Hollywood writers and actors strike, and uh, near-term growth at, uh, prospects of Disney's theme park business. Disney CEO Bob Iger last week received a uh, contract extension through 2026 he had led the company from 2005 to, to uh, 2020 and rejoined Disney when it fired its successor, Bob Chapek, in November. The company said last month that Chief Financial Officer Christine McCarthy was stepping down, adding, uh, adding to the recent turnover. Disney has ruled out 7,000 job cuts this year. The cuts were uh, wide-ranging, included high-profile ESPN talent and entertainment executives. The plans for layoffs followed the campaign from activist investor uh, Nelson Peltz, who declared victory after the firm laid out its plans of cost-cutting and eventual return of uh, Disney Divided. Basically what's going on is that uh, essentially, and it's Nelson Peltz guy, he actually is having a campaign to try to uh, take over as CEO and just basically restore Disney to what it was good at doing, uh, entertainment, and not inserting all this garbage and uh, this political SJW garbage in their films. But essentially it's like they, their stock has been falling like every single, like basically it's been a continual decline. Have they had some, you know, like a 0.1% gain? Yeah, sure. but. It basically is ever declining, and it's in like the low 80s now at this point. It's like mid to low 80s, you know, in terms of the other uh, stock value. Yeah, you know, it's showing the fact that you go woke, you go broke. It's a real phrase. It's not just, uh, I'll put it this way, it's not just a vain, empty phrase. It's just reality, you know, because you see uh, those who, you know, basically the, the, the people they're uh, attacking, you know, what we do is we just keep our wallets closed. You know, that, that's how we win the culture wars. You just don't do anything at all. You just keep your wallets closed. And then they, they uh, feel it at some point. You see, they uh, have become too big. They think they basically have become too big to fail. Well, it's been a very humbling experience because all that the customer has to do is keep the wallets closed and not, you know, get by the, t the tickets to the movies or tickets to the theme parks and just look how they're just like struggling to make money having to sell IPs. It's essentially like a figurative way to put it is you're having to just ravage through all your drawers and you know turn over the couch, the, the cushions and everything else to try to find any extra change because they're that, they're that desperate. You know, that, that's the thing. You go woke, you go broke. And this is just another example proving that. So yeah, woke SAW Disney, they've been failing on all fronts, not surprisingly. It's only surprising to those who live in a delusion, which is these woke SJW, blue-haired, feministic, you know, lesbian weirdos on the internet who are just a loud and annoying minority, and the silent majority is protesting not with signs, but with it by just simply keeping our wallets closed. So that's, it's plain and simple. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.